as with so many of these zoo species, nutrition is a really, really difficult area. Um, a lot of the diets traditionally that we've fed to our zoo animals have been kind of guesswork and, and common sense and extrapolation from uh, what we feed to domestic animals. Um, giraffes, believe it or not, are ruminants, so they're a little bit like cows or sheep and goats. Um, they, have, they have a rumen for digestion, so traditionally they've been fed kind of modeled on the kind of diets that we would feed to those sorts of animals, but it, it turns out that, that there might be some, some differences in, in how, they, uh, how they digest their, their nutrients, and there might be some different needs uh, quite quite different needs for them nutritionally and so um, we're hoping we're in the process of applying for funding again that's always the big the big sticking point for any research project I'm sure you can appreciate and um, we're hoping that we'll be able to get a project which will involve not only these animals but, but giraffes at a number of different facilities um, looking at what they're e eating and, and trying to figure out what we might need to change. We know what, we're, what, we're, what they're eating at the zoo here, but there are lots of different zoos and each zoo manages their animals slightly differently. And so we'll be looking at diets across the different zoos and see how they might vary. Quite possible that none of them is ideal, um, but, but it's equally possible that some of them might, might be doing fairly well. So we'll be actually um, ideally uh, getting blood samples from some of these animals and um, looking at sort of the blood parameters which are indicative of the level of nutrition, different um, vitamins and minerals that would be present in the blood and assessing how good the nutrition is and if there, if there are any deficiencies.